Hello. Today is March 25th, 2021. Temperatures are rising quick. Today is supposed to hit about 30 degrees centigrade. That's close to 87 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's only the end of March. I would like to continue talking about living off the grid in the city. Renegade style. Renegade style. The Renegade edition, a very high level of living off the grid. There's a few topics I'd like to discuss, canceling your debts, and then I'd like to move on into the homestead option, the van life option, and the backpacking or nomad option. Canceling your debt, as I mentioned before, is pretty much writing them off, not necessarily paying them off. You can pay them off is your option, absolutely. But if you already have checked off the previous items that I mentioned in the previous show about being a true and complete off-gridder, then you basically care not about money, care not about your credit score, care not about your ID, including your social security. So why would you care about your debt? So if you care not about your credit, then writing off your debt, not paying your debt, is the next obvious thing to do. Yes, this is extremely difficult for many to do, many of us to attempt. I do not recommend it for everyone. If you are ready, you will know it, and it will not be something that bothers you, that you feel like you're doing something wrong, you will feel right. Canceling your debt, it is something that's next in line if you dump your money, dump your need for money, the use of money, so your debts are just next in line in a very rational way. So you may choose to pay your debt if you have the money. You may have savings that instead of just giving it away, if you dump your money, you may want to just pay off your debt. That way you don't ruffle as many feathers. You may want to go out away and exit the system quietly instead of with a bang, instead of with a big show. So you may choose to pay your debt off. You may not have a whole lot of debt. Many of us, many of you have no debt and that's a good thing. So you wouldn't have to bother with this step. Canceling your debt could free you from all kinds of harassment, control or attempts at controlling you. Calls, visits sometimes. You may get paid a visit from a creditor looking for their money, whether it's a family member, a friend, or even a local bank, who knows? I mean, they may have persons that pay you visits to encourage you to pay your debt. It's been known that these people could harass you at home, work, even in other places. They may be able to harass you, including your place of school, if you go to school, perhaps other places, like your place of worship. You may want to consider that as well. Moving on to the three options of living arrangements for a hardcore all-in off-gridder. As I mentioned, there are three homestead option, van life, and nomad option. I will begin discussing the homestead option. Homestead option is nothing but purchasing or acquiring somehow a piece of land, an area, it doesn't have to be large, it could be large, it doesn't have to be. It could be as small as you can afford or as small as you want it. You may just want a little bitty corner in a big city somewhere, sandwiched between two houses, sandwiched between two businesses, in the back of a business, in the back of someone's house, who knows where you could find a place to live. It could be small enough for you to install or build or bring in a tiny home, as they call them. Tiny homes could be as small as maybe five foot by five foot or six foot by six foot area. It could be as small as that. Or it could be larger. It could be, you know, a regular home. It could be a very large home. Some of you may be able to afford that. It could be a large place out in the open area, in the country, desert, tundra, wherever. You may be able to find land. More likely than not, most of us prefer to find land that is affordable, cheap, land that is accessible, land that is more or less in a reasonable area to live. As far as distance from water sources, distance from food or some sort of grocery store, or it could be close to a wildlife area where you can hunt your own food. It could be in an area where you can grow your own food. 
Yes, a lot of us desire land that it's in a very pleasant area as far as the climate goes, perhaps with plenty of sunshine and some rain throughout the year. But those areas are usually a lot more expensive, or you may be in a position to acquire one through whether it's a donation, whether it's a land grant, whether it's a pass down from a family property inherited, whatever the case may be, you may be able to acquire some land and set up a homestead, which is basically a home, a dwelling place, building, not necessarily a building in the conventional way, it could be something exotic like a dome, self-built by you or people that you may be able to hire, or it could be bought outright and brought in, trucked in. You may be able to bring in perhaps a mobile home to that patch of land. Again, nothing has to be large. You may be able to live in an area just large enough for yourself. If you live with someone else, you may be able to live in an area just large enough for the two, three of you. So that's something that you can do. A homestead is an option for living off the grid that is quite attractive you know it is one of the least sacrificing and austere ways of living off the grid you don't have to sacrifice too much as far as living arrangements again it could get quite expensive land here in the u.s and many areas of the world do cost a lot of money especially those that are considered desirable anywhere near the coast anywhere near on the river areas large lakes Anywhere near a large body of water, you're going to be looking to pay big bucks. No one should own land that they don't inhabit, that they don't grow food on, that they don't do something productive with, period. It should be left open for those that do want to cultivate it, live on it, or do something productive like build some sort of plants, industry, business, whatever the case may be. Don't just sit on an empty patch of land and put a flag on it and say that you own it. That's just nonsensical. That is the homestead option. Again, something that many of us can do, also many of us cannot. This generation, perhaps the next generation, and perhaps the generation before me, have been hit pretty hard throughout the world, especially here in the Americas, as far as the economy goes. After the Second World War, the economy boomed for a while, and then it, since the mid-70s, perhaps the early 70s, the wage has stagnated, even declined since about that time. Real wages, as they call it, as the economists and financial folks call it, the real wages have declined. And I can tell you that for sure by experience, personal experience, because I remember back in the late 90s, almost 25 years ago, I used to meet and know people that worked for a wage of about mid-career technicians, skilled workers, skilled laborers, as they call them. They used to earn about $13, $14, $15 an hour. And come to find out, 25 years later, skilled workers, skilled laborers, mid-range, mid-career, they earn about the same, give or take a dollar. So that is 25 years after, my friends. The wages have, in my view, stagnated, even declined, in fact. That's why I say many of us cannot afford big saving accounts or have not been able to, have not had the opportunity to have huge savings accounts, huge 401ks. Jobs with retirement and pensions are not to be found, are basically a dream, basically a unicorn for many of us, and we just don't have the type of funds that perhaps our parents, our grandparents had in the past. Some of us, again, some of our grandparents, some of our parents. Not all of us were given that opportunity even when the getting was good. Plenty of minority groups, plenty of disadvantaged groups did not get that opportunity even at that time when pensions were popular and the pay was good. So I do recognize that as well. So yeah, the option of having a homestead may not be an option for you. So the next best thing for someone that must and will live off the grid is living a mobile life. Mobile life in either a van, RV, SUV. This will continue on the next episode.